Alright everyone, it is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, too lazy to put on my other shirt, but it's also getting colder in here, uh, in New York City, so, yeah, I mean, also I might be getting old too, because it's only like 60 degrees out there, and like, or I guess, I mean, I didn't check since yesterday, but it feels freezing, so yeah, it's ridiculous. So I didn't do any research at all, and, um... Yeah, just busy with the video game stuff. Also, thinking about the game. Uh, Express Attorney of the Market Dad is going to be currently delayed. Wow. Okay. Well, um, where else can we go? Finance. Google. Uh, finance. Google. Let me see. Um,. Let's see. Yeah, so we're not really missing that much action. Okay. All right. So it looks like after yesterday's disaster, you know, things are looking pretty flat today. Um. So let me see. Hold on a second. I want to make sure. Yeah, everything looks good. So uh, yeah. So anyway, I got like I got somebody that was gonna do the voice, but then he basically just didn't want to do it and didn't want to tell me. So I was like, ah, you know, because it was just taking forever, and didn't really put in any effort. So, you know, as much as I wanted to uh, <clears throat> hire fellow groipers, um, you know, we still have to make a product. So now I'm still trying to decide if I want to go ahead and try to hire other voice actors and spend more money, or just simply do no voiceovers or just do like the cheap option which is just have my voice and then the other lines are just someone's gonna have to the players gonna have to read it you know so i think i think i might go with that because i really don't want to disable the speech the speech volume slider and all the work that i put into that you know even though i didn't have to do too much because i had to figure out how to do the vol the volume switch but it's like uh, i don't like taking stuff out i really don't you know, I did that with my first movie because I had to make compromises, but this time around I don't want to be doing that. So yeah. So anyway, I got I got stuff to do. Uh, but the good news is, um, you know, one hundred coin did like a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, in fact, it's so large that yeah, it did like five thousand dollars at the trade value. Uh, so that's because the uh, trade contest ended yesterday. So. All right, so we'll talk about that. Anyway, uh, searches for this week have not been released, but last week has been finalized at 10, apparently. Actually, they're still ca calculating the data. Uh, so it looks like Bitcoin's recovered a bit, so it's actually not that bad. It's at 10,500 bucks. Uh, Litecoin, though, is taking a massive beat down. It's at $44, so that sucks. Doggy coin. Uh, where's dog coin? Uh, three... This thing has always been at 354 million market cap. I guess this thing is surprisingly stable. I guess that's a good sign. Bitcoin does is at 57.82%. Uh, 24 hour is 58.4 billion. So it's like a pretty standard day. All right, so the data is or is not delayed. Oh, it's actually fixed. Okay, so it's just a very quick temporary thing. So Rebel didn't go down that much. So that's actually pretty good. So yeah, so... Uh, on the one hand, I don't think it really deserves to go back to 29,300, which was when, you know, the market, this was pre-coronavirus. On the other hand, it doesn't want to go down that much. So this is a pretty good sign. Um, so I guess it's just, because uh, I'd rather it go it goes down a lot, the flat lines, it goes up maybe, and then back down a lot, you know, just to keep it at a relative range. I don't, I don't actually want a correction. It's just, uh, I think it's just going to be too much for people. Not to mention, it's probably going to tank uh, cryptocurrency prices too. Because as soon as the markets tanked yesterday, everyone started dumping their crypto, uh, you know, uh, all over the place. Funny enough, the only coins that did well were actually our coins. So that's kind of nice. Uh, Evan's still doing all right. Uh, let's see. SEC to abandon proposed whistleblower caps. I don't really care. U.S. existing home sales near 14-year high in August. Okay, we do want to read that. U.S. China partial impacts TikTok, Oracle, Walmart. Uh, yeah, uh, Nick Fuentes definitely is reading Andre Wang Lin's uh, website. 
uh, where he, yeah, where basically we're all on board with the same idea, right? It's stupid and annoying that actual big tech in America is screwing with the, Amer- with the American government. So what does Trump do? He goes after TikTok, which is owned by China. It's like, you know, he's literally helping the enemy make the enemy even stronger just to, you know, fuck Trump over and everyone else. It's like so stupid. Now, he did mention, I came up with this on my own, that this, actually, no, I don't know if Nick actually mentioned it. But he did, impl- he did no, he did talk about how how it, uh, he should be using these things against, you know, actual threats to America, like, you know, Silicon Valley, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Google, YouTube, uh, Amazon, right, Twitch. You know, I said, I, I, I only tweeted it out, it's like, you know, I said that this could be used as a precursor or at least um, a precedent for Trump to go after domestic big tech. Right? He says, well, I declared TikTok in China, you know, security threat, but now I consider Twitter and Facebook a security threat because you guys are doing the same shit. So that's what I'm kind of hoping Trump's doing. Uh, you know, so because so far Trump's more or less has been very on point uh, lately. So uh jfc's at four to five in fact looks like the fives are actually getting bought out this thing's actually got yeah decreased a little yeah people have been buying um yeah or maybe they were just pulling their coins out 404 is doing all right 73 to 75 satoshi's a bitcoin nothing new there two by two is also stable at eight to ten essentially this is not a whole lot over here Rix is at 22 to 23. It's been pretty stale. It's actually gotten a lot more solid. Uh, those trading contests, I definitely take it back. They definitely uh, do something. It, it's just that it just takes, uh, what should we call it? I guess it just takes a little bit of time. Because the trade because the trade volume has also been really good too. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's nothing of note here. Uh, the problem is I've been staring at my uh, computer monitor so much that like I don't blink and I don't realize it because I'm just so enthralled with whatever I'm doing on the computer that it's actually drying out my eyes. So uh, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so Rix is doing pretty solid, so that's good. I know Mitch has probably been aggressively. Um, thing of a jig promoting it uh so 100 coin continues to do very well so it's at 480 now because the contest is over so now i see some pretty good action here so i already put in another request uh, i already tweeted out that we're going to do another um contest i think this time around i'm going to make make it last two weeks see what it does to the price because i know all the action is going to happen at the end so, but on the other hand, I want to keep giving, because basically I have to give away these coins, right? Because I have to pay for the prize pool. So, you know, uh, the contest that just ended was 12,500, 100 coins total. And first prize was 5,000 coins. So it was actually worth a lot. So, um, yeah, but this is definitely worth it for me because now when I sell, instead of selling at like, you know, 18 satoshis now it's correctly at the price it should be at which is around 46 it sh- should be a lot higher but you know uh we just gotta keep uh just gotta keep pushing right because in fact yeah it's going up to 480. so it's at 460 to 480 but definitely could very well go up higher uh we'll have to we'll have to see we'll have to see uh speed coins definitely gonna need some extra support because i think the problem is it's too expensive and too hard to mine so nobody wants to do anything with it so i have so right now i'm saving up money so i can buy a listing for btc pop so i'll get the staking pool going and people who could who cannot or do not want to use cracks can just use btc pop and then we'll do the same thing with speed coin right and then uh yeah and then once i can do the contest for speed coin it's just going to be fantastic so for the time being, it's at 58 to 800 uh, to 88 satoshis of a Bitcoin, but it's way underpriced. So I would definitely not sell at these prices. I'm not selling anymore. Uh, I'm just simply hoarding coins uh, until I can get a, until I can come up with enough money to buy a BTC pop uh, listing. Uh, I could also consider converting some of my Litecoins to Bitcoin at a loss. Uh, I I might consider doing that too. Um, Let's see, so nothing new on my YouTubes. Uh, yeah, nothing.
nothing new here either. Uh, I didn't even buy. I don't really want. I don't really care about you know get the election stuff. Russia like Kirch is set to skip hearing for Trump nominee. Yeah, they're just gonna barrel through the uh, thing because the problem is Democrat because Trump's gonna win re-election. Then, uh, yeah, this thing thinks I'm in Brazil. Uh, so Trump's gonna win re-election. The Democrats will contest it. They'll not recognize the results, and the Supreme Court has to decide who wins the election. So that's why Trump has to do this. That's why I think the Republicans might actually get on board with that too. Um. Because I'm curious to see if, like the not like the other elections, you know, mayors, governors, Congress, and all that other stuff. I'm curious to see if the Republicans can also take a lot of seats from the Democrats because of all the shit liberty and rioting that's been going on. I mean, it's going to be a big stretch for the Democrats to then claim, "Oh, the Republicans stole all the elections." Now, now, now it's just getting retarded and stupid. So that's what I'm actually curious about. Um, Binance.usco calls companies not entering crypto ignorant. Yes, they should. It, they should um, implement crypto because it would make my life easier. Because if because then I if, then you know you and I would make more money, right? Because then I could finally come out with the game, get the web version out, and then you put in, uh, you know, whatever. Digital euro will not be a substitute for cash. Uh, ECB president. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're, I don't really feel like reading this, but it looks like we might not have anything to read today. Not much we'll do to our, No, I don't care. 600k airdrop. Uh, blockchain week in Hong Kong. Earth needs Bitcoin as it kind of hits the... Uh, okay. See, Max Kaiser literally all over the place. He's really the very definition of a grifter. Equilibrium receives Web3 grant to develop its unit. Okay. I'm not going to read it, but that's good. Any police... Begin pro alleged two seventies. Oh, yeah, whatever. Canada's first regulated crypto exchange with wealth simple crypto goes alive. Hmm. Uh. Actually, I kind of want. So I kind of want to just get back to doing what I was doing before, and I have to work on my game today in one form or another. Um. Let's see. Oh, wow, we're getting a lot of tones here. So just gonna do my little game shit. Just give me a second. Um, so yeah, when I say I have a lot of work to do, it really is just games. But I do have to work on my game though, because um, I just have to make a decision. So I think I'm just gonna do the voice. Actually, I've made my decision. I'll do my voiceovers, uh, and then I don't know. I may or may not hire that actress because she seems pretty cool. And it's actually relatively cheap. And let's face it. You know, since most people playing my game will be men, I think them hearing a woman's voice would be pretty good. Uh, let's see, digital, okay, and then that's that. Alright. Um, God, my, see, the bother part of my eye is really bothering me. I, I'm gonna have to blink a lot, so it might be a little distracting. U.S. homes existing, blah, blah, blah near 14 high in August. Alright, U.S. home sales surged to the highest level in 14 years last month. Uh, the housing market, da, 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 okay, the NR, the NAR, so on Tuesday, existing home sales increased 2.4%. Adjusted annual rate of 6 million units a month, the highest since 2006. The year for July was, revised, was unrevised at 5.86 million units. So that's basically, well, for, well, we call houses or apartments units for whatever reason. So this is 5.86 million houses or condos. That's a lot. Since last month, country on the upper price end on our existing home sales for top of the year has dropped 10 for Ah, so basically rich pe pe rich people or people who are very well to do are buying homes. Probably because the prices went down due to the coronavirus shit and lockdown bullshit. Housing records remain resilient despite 30 million people being uh, unemployed. With ADD. Low interest rates. The government last week's second federal home in which cuts a large share of housing increased in August with billing for surging their highest level. Okay, supply remains a headache or okay. All right, so we definitely have some volatility in the housing market, but this is pretty good. A lot, a lot of money floating around. Of course, you know it'd be nice if we could just you know open up the damn markets though. Uh, okay, digital euro will not be a a digital euro could be a complement to, not a substitute for cash. But isn't that exactly what it's supposed to do? Any. 
Hmm. Hmm. Any digital currency released in the EU may not fully replace fiat. According to blah blah blah. Uh, speak at an online meeting of the Franco German Parliament Assembly on September 21st, Lagarde stated that the bank was exploring the benefits, risks, and operational challenges of a European Central Bank. Digital currency, uh, but fiat currency would so likely play a role in the digital future. Uh, they could provide alternative provide to private digital currency to share that time remains at the core of blah blah. blah. The ECB said that the Eurosa had not yet reached a decision on the digital era, but said that time to the potential effects will be coming in the next couple of weeks. Lagarde has long supported the central bank developing a digital euro to address the move towards digitalization. Which he was having a DD, 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 okay. Chris, I mean, her name was Christine Lagarde, right? So the current president, the EU, the current EU president wants a digital euro. That's actually very good. However, Lagarde, how the EU economy was facing an unprecedented crisis with the current bullshit lockdowns. The ECB, oh, the ECB president, not EU president. The ECB president said Ricardo was uneven and completely would all be dependent on how well the virus could be recontained. Yeah, which basically, so basically it's up to the global to decide when they're going to, yeah. Canada's first unregul uh, first regulated crypto exchange while well, Simple Cryptos goes live. Michael Bros Brothers founded Gemini Powers, the first regular. Wait, wait. The Winkle Voss Twins is powering the first crypto exchange in Canada that's regulated. Oh, okay. So basically, uh, Canada's version of Coinbase, I guess. Um, I forgot the name of the other one that was actually first, and then Coinbase was second, but uh, we all know about Coinbase. Well, Simple Crypto, the first, but is rolling out a trading platform in the public today, starting from September 22nd. Users in all 13 provinces and territories like Canada will be able to sign up for a new product and trade crypto. They could do Bitcoin, Ether. Uh, deposit of can only be made in Canadian dollars. Ah, Canada, eh? Prior to public launch, Wealth Simple Crypto is available in beta, allowing Canadians to join a waitlist to be invited to use the platform according to Wealth Simple. Wealth Simple that will not hold any crypto assets in its own or its own hard hold. Wealth Simple Crypto said the crypto that Wealth Simple is provided by Gemini. Oh, okay. So Gemini is holding the crypto and uh, making sure it doesn't get stolen and hacked. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Gemini is really solid. Coin a Wiley collaboration with Gemini is one of the faggot contributed to Wealth Simple Crypto. Said they try that they try to offer too many services can be impediment to becoming a fully. Uh, I don't want to read all their shit. Based in Toronto, Wealth Simple is a Canadian ally investment manager so focused on millennials. The company announced plan to offer crypto trading in July 2020. Well, and that's the end of the article. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Um, now this one's actually kind of tough. These are actually pretty good. Um. Oh, yeah, but well, this is a vastly superior thumbnail. All right, so if you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you uh, smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So we can continue growing this channel. See, I did it again. I was so focused on the computer. While well, I was saying that, and concentrate on what I'm doing now, and then I just realized that I did not blink my eyes, and then I wonder why my eyes are straining just a tad bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, of course my clown is dead. Um, so let's see. So anyway, I'm uh, done for the day. Uh, got stuff to do. Uh, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna probably record both audios because there's only two levels with. Uh, I don't know. What do I want to call it? One's a speech. The other one's like you know, just your, like your briefing, I guess, for the player. Yeah, then I'll figure out the rest. So uh, anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow's uh, video. Thanks for watching. Uh, for the most part, crypto's doing all right. The market seemed to be flat essentially. Uh, One hundred coin. The uh, trading contest definitely was a, a massive success. After initially looking like total dog shit. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do another one. Um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so at least uh, finally got us provided because it was constantly asking for money. Uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll be solid. All right, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks.
Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin, and uh, here's our thumbnail. 